Hello everyone, this is Jonathan J. Dog Letterman. You're tuned in to the Anything Bucket on WRPBI-TV. And in our studio today, we have a man of faith with an awesome story. He is the pastor for the Armor of God Ministries. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pastor Ken Loring to the Anything Bucket. Hello, Jonathan. Thank you for the invite today. It's a privilege to be here. And I'm honored that you're here, and the work that you're doing is is amazing. And I know you have a tremendous backstory that we probably could take up a decade <laughs> to, to tell your story. But if you could share with the audience just a little bit about who you are and, uh, and what you do uh, with the uh, ministry. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, we're Armor of God Christian Ministries. I'm Pastor Ken Loring. We are uh, currently having our services at the Comfort Suites Hotel uh, in their conference center at 8301. Uh, West Commercial Boulevard in Tamarack, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, that is under 33321 uh, is the zip code. And uh, you can reach us at 954-593-1397 for more information. And also our website, that's at www.armorofgodministries.org. That's A-R-M-O-R, of God Ministries. Dot org. And basically, Jonathan, is just we're just about loving on people, and that's what it's all about. That's what Christ did. Doesn't matter your background, doesn't matter your culture, uh, race, doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done. Uh, we work with high-risk youth. Uh, we also network and working with the uh, juvenile court, with uh, judges in our own Broward County area, and uh, also with the probation officers. And we get together, and we, uh, we're needing more volunteers for this, by the way. Uh, but we get together, and we make sure that they uh, make their court dates. We give them life skill classes. We do many different networking things with our community. And that's what we're about. We're about not staying in our four walls. We're about getting outside into the community to touch the people. And uh, no matter where you are, God's got a comeback plan for you. I mean, I'm, I know in this hour I'm talking to many discouraged people. And we're about encouragement. We're about positive messages. So many things on the anything bucket is all about. And uh, that's why John and I get along so well. Um, and that's what we're all about, is encouraging you to make your comeback. God's got a plan, amen, from your setback to, make, to spring forth to make your comeback. And that's what life, this is what our ministry is all about. Getting you to make your comeback and become more in everything that you're supposed to be in God. And earlier today, <laughs> Pastor Ken handed me this boomerang. That's my nickname. And there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a significance to this. Uh, because what you put out there comes back. And regardless of what the enemy throws at you, yes, you have the opportunity to rise up and come back. And I know you were telling stories about... Uh, in the line of duty, having guns pulled on you and uh, all types of <laughs> treacherous type activities. And share with us some of that and how <clears throat> your faith just led you through it all and how you came out stronger. Amen. Well, my faith is, and that's what it is about, is, uh, you know, uh, whatever your setback has been, just like this boomerang, you got to pull something back. you got to pull this boomerang back in order to release it. So, therefore, you have to set, you got to be on a setback. But the setback, don't mistake your setback for an accident because you're set, it's like a bow and arrow. you got to pull that arrow back before you can launch it. Your setback is being pulled back to launch you into your destiny, actually. And I, I always say like it, you've heard, God turns your pain to gain. So um, basically what has happened in our lifetime is from my point of birth, uh, doctors told my mother I wasn't going to live. She prayed for me and obviously f over 53 years later, here I am. Um, and many times in my life I was on a medical bed where doctors did, said I wouldn't make it, I wouldn't live. I also had a gun pointed at my head, a newsie. Um, and some people told me that that was my last sermon I would ever preach. And actually we were wrote up in the newspapers that man of faith starts his ministry with gang members, not church members, and that's how our ministry started uh, in Hollywood years ago. But here we are today, now uh, up in North Fort Lauderdale, Tamarack area on Commercial Boulevard, uh, at the Comfort Suites in that uh, conference center there. And we'd love to see you come out and be with us, and let us help you make your comeback from whatever you're experiencing. And it's again the trials and tribulations that we go through. And here is Pastor Ken Loring to help guide you. And uh, with, the, with his ministry, I know you do some great programs. We were talking about the youth program. I know you have a feeding yes, program. Sir. I know that you have a lot of uh, things that you're helping people find work. Uh, 
that Life you uh, allow them the opportunity to come in basically to dress for success. And, that's exactly and if you can espouse a little bit more uh, on what you do and again, tell everybody how they can find you. Well, basically you're made of seven life areas. Now we do emphasize the spiritual, of course. We are a Christian faith-based ministry. We do emphasize because the spiritual part of you is the most powerful part of you. But you are made up of temple. Your body, mind, soul, and spirit. We don't neglect the other at our church. You're, uh, we also minister to your mental, physical, social, emotional, uh, spiritual, financial, and uh, of course your spiritual part of you. But uh, we develop your mind. We give you life skill classes. We give you mentorship classes. Uh, we have people that are financially successful that come in and mentor you how to get to six figures and over. We are a ministry that is out there in a 21st century realm uh, taking our kingdom marketplace to build entrepreneurs in our community. So we are branched out all over and we look forward to helping you any way we can. And it sounds like you're using a lot of the principles of like the purpose-driven life. and Exactly. Because the two greatest days in someone's life, you know, are the day they're born mm -hmm. and the day they find out why. Yes. Absolutely. And do you have any special, other than the scriptures that, you know, keep you going, do you have any quotes, any authors that you recommend when people are absolutely. a little bit downtrodden? You know what, I what has helped me tremendously outside the Word of God is Franklin Covey. A lot of his books, you know, First Things First, um, you know, The Eight Habits of Successful People, uh, The Seven Habits, he wrote another book to that uh, before. So outside the scriptural success system, uh, Franklin Covey has been a great help to me in many areas. Um, I can go on and on. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki and some of his books of Rich Dad, Poor Dad for financial reasons uh, is a great book. So, uh, you know, so some of these things we also go into and teach. We teach technology as well. So, uh, you know, we are ministering to the whole man and that's what I believe the church is lacking in this hour. Uh, you can't minister to the spiritual man and leave these other sides out. So come, you know, and he talked about your destiny. We extract your passion. Whatever your passion is, that is you're going to find your purpose. So we extract your passion from you. We give you the skills and equip you how to build that passion and bring you into the fulfillment of your purpose. We got a little saying at our place called, we drop kick you to your destiny. <laughs> I like that. And sometimes we need that drop kick. Um, I will leave our viewers uh, for this segment. One of my favorite books is uh, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And I'll tell you, don't judge. Don't take anything personal. Absolutely. Don't make any assumptions. And always do your best. And I want to thank uh, Pastor Ken Loring from the Armor of God Christian Ministries for being here at WRPBI TV today and giving us a message of hope and healing. Until next time, this is Jonathan J. Dog Letterman reminding you to bounce back and stay positive.